Here's a 2-zone, 12-volt DC, 6-amp remote control, made by Logisys. I picked this up at Tiny Middle back in the day. I did not pay $33 for it, but it still was kind of expensive at like, I don't know, maybe $22, bucks, $21, something like that. Certainly wasn't something I was looking to spend, but it so turned out that another associate had asked me a question about where something was, so we went out to the sales floor, and while looking, I happened to notice this and said, you bastard, you just cost me money. So I bought this. I never used it. I just thought it might be handy for I don't know why, and I've never opened it or done anything with it, so we're just going to take a look now. We got a little tripod here and make it a lot easier. All right, so let's see what the hell is in here, because I sure as hell don't know. A remote. Kind of weird. Where the hell are the buttons? Or maybe it slides out of a sheath or something. One. And two. Okay. And some instructions. So it's a magic black box. And it's, mount it's mar mounted. It's marked one and two. And it's probably pretty pretty easy. The wires seem to be marked, so let's just take a look at that, see if I can figure it out without the instructions. Blue is the antenna wire. Black is ground. Red is 12 volt in. Another ground. Maybe you're ground out and 12 volt out. So I'll just double check to see if the two grounds are interchangeable. I'd expect they are. And we'll take a little closer look at the remote. I'll just test one of these if the remote even wants to work. Oh, okay, there. It slides like that. And you have an on button for the one and an off button for the one, on for two and off for two. And it slides closed to prevent access. And it has a little keychain thingy on it, and we'll see if we can get the relays in it to click. Let me just see about the instructions, see if they're in English or something. Never opened this, like I said. Oh, decent. Decent. So it says... Voltage is 12 volts DC plus or minus 10%. So this should be able to work in a car if you wanted it to. I'm sure it would handle that okay. Current 6 amp, 72 watt, 30 meter range with no obstacle in range. 315 megahertz, 0 to 50 C. And the size, and it's a fixed code, so it does not roll over. So it can easily be hacked but such is. So, um, the outputs and all of that great shit. The battery is a 27A alkaline battery, it says, on the other side. And black is just ground and ground, so I guess one gets a ground and the other gets a ground, and um, I don't know. Let's go hook this up. Okay, we got everything hooked up. 12 volt in and ground. Another ground and the 12 volt out on the white wire. The blue is just the antenna. We have a fan that's been sitting around. So it's all hooked up. Power has been applied. And if I press the button, the fan should go on. Yay! Troubleshooting time. Hmm. We have good connections. The white is 12 volt out. Um, what if I switch the wires? Because maybe it's like reverse polarity type kind of thing, or 
Maybe the ground just has to be the same, or maybe the fan crapped out. I don't even know. Let's see here. Probably nothing. Nope. Maybe it doesn't work. That's possible. Okay. Um, so that's fun. So we're definitely getting power in, and we're not getting power out. So if I hook the ground to the ground here and ground the fan with the ground. Let's try that. And we'll put that on there and try it again. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I don't know what the hell the other ground is for, unless maybe I have them backwards. So let me try that. That fan's tired. Needs Earl. But uh, good enough for now. Let me switch these wires and I'll come right back. Yeah, apparently there is a ground in and a ground out. Because now I have it hooked up right. It is not marked in any way. It just says ground and ground. So that would be nice to have that marked, <laughs> but it's just not. <laughs> but hey, it works, you know, and then I can get the other one here and we'll get a black and a red and we'll, whoop, wrong way. See if we could just squick that in there and squick that in there. Good for now. So now I should be able to hit the relay on number two. Absolutely. Could probably latch the two of them together so you have to hit one button and then the other, you know, like a secret code bullshit. I don't know, so it's a remote-controlled 12-volt thing. Oh, the shit I could have done with this in my old Chevy. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, that would have been, yeah. I could remote-control the cop lights, make them flash back and forth. I always wanted to make a video on that and how I did that, but... I just never did. I have to see if I have the appropriate accoutrement that's needed. So at least this wasn't a waste of money um, because it worked. <laughs> so that's nice. And now it can go back in the box for the day that I will never need to use it because I haven't needed it up till now and it's been, I don't know, what, three, four years since I'm out of Tiny. So I don't need to uh, use it now, and I probably won't. The you know the back in the day, my old Chevy and that the shit I had wired up in there. This would have been like prime candidate for that. Ah, oh, that would have been fucking awesome. And then when I got old clanky, I actually had these uh, what do you call it? Black lights, twelve volt black lights that I went so far as to actually mount under the dash. And then when it came to the wiring, I said, ah, that's enough for one day, I'll get to it. And I never did for 12 years. <laughs> I never got back to it. I had other ideas. There were some blue LEDs that I had that like plugged in the cigarette lighter. They're around somewhere, I, I don't even know. And some other stuff I was gonna dress up old clanky, but in retrospect, it's best that I didn't, because then I would have had to rip all of that shit out of there. Ah, uh, yeah. See, that's the problem I found with cars. When you, you, you buy a car, and you say, oh, I'm going to have this thing till the fucking wheels fall off, and then you have it for three years, and some dick fucking T-bones you, and that's the end of it. And you put a system in, you put a subwoofer in, you put 74 iPhones like the Sam Nudge, you know, so what is that, like 86 or or $100,000, something like that, <laughs> in there. 
in the crash. 19 of them get destroyed. Oh, what the hell? Uh, it was time to upgrade anyway. You know, you put all this money into it, and it's a rolling time bomb. The engine could blow up. The transmission could give out. Some dick could hit it. So it's not a good place. On the old Chevy, it didn't matter. It was an old car, and nobody was even going to hit that thing if they wanted to, you know? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so, I don't know. It's a, it's a handy little 12-volt wireless switch. I don't know how good the range is, and I'm not going to test that now, but it's good to know at least that it works, this Logisys 12-volt thingamajobber. I even took the time to write a little blurb in there because I know years down the road when I'm never going to use this, I'm going to forget. <laughs> so that's there. And I wrote it in some of my neatest handwriting in a long, long time. So that's going to do it. Thank you for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.